Hello, my dear students. Welcome to English 102 for the Unified Track. Today, we're going to start with Unit 11 and a writing lesson, which is writing a report. By the end of this lesson, we're going to achieve three main objectives. The first one is to identify expressions used in a report. Then we will identify the layout of writing a report and eventually we will write a report. So now, let me start my lesson with asking you this question. Why do we write reports? Or what is report? Let's see. Reports communicate information which has been compiled as a result of research and analysis of data or issues. It could be written about many topics like studying abroad, online shopping, or high usage of social media. There are a lot of other topics that you could write a report on, but these are only examples. And of course, as it is mentioned at the definition, there has to be information uh, gathered from a research or a survey, it depends on the analysis that you did for the data. Let's move on. There's a certain language used for reports. Since it's reports, so it's definitely formal. Let's see. There are some verbs are used in report writing to show opinion. When you want to write a report, you will put this, the thesis statements that you have, you will put the researches that you did, and you will express your opinion. And there are some words that you use, or let's say some verbs, which shows and expresses your opinion, like said. I'll put it in an example to clarify it more. Pay attention. The majority of local residents said that 80% of and we continue with the rest of the sentence. Here, when I say said, it means I'm expressing the opinion of the people who talked. Here, I mean the local residents. Let's move on. Mentioned. Example, another important reason mentioned by the staff was, and you finish the sentence. So, uh, there are some reasons which the staff here in this example mentioned and said, and here they mentioned it because they're expressing their opinion. Felt, pay attention to this verb. Example, a minority of people felt that. So, I use the verb felt when I express the opinion of a very small group of people, and I say the minority instead of saying small group of people. Finally, thought. Here's an example. 96% of all residents thought that it will be a good idea that, and you finish the sentence. So, thought here again as showing and expressing the opinion of the people. And here it's the residents. Now, let me give you a very simple task about the language used for reports. Pay attention. You have six phrases and there are from A to F functions. The, the functions here are related to the phrases. I want you to read the phrase carefully and tell me what is the role or what's the function of this phrase and then match from one to six to A to F. I'll give you a minute, try to do it and we'll discuss the answers together. Go ahead.
Let's check the answers, my dear students. Number one, the aim of this report is to, here is the phrase, what does it function? What does it mean? It means see why the report was written. When I say the aim of this report, it means the, uh, the purpose of this report. So yes, this is the function, the reason why is it written as it is mentioned in C. So one goes with C. I hope you're getting the answers right. Let's go to number two. The data was collected by, let's go to E, how the information was obtained. Was it obtained through a survey, through a research, through a questionnaire? It depends. So when I say the data was collected by, you have to tell me how was it obtained. Then, number three, it goes with A. So when I say the majority, I mean the opinion of most people. Most people is uh, explained by saying the majority. Pay attention, this is a very important phrase when writing a report. Four, the main reason was that, and here I am meaning F, why people has particular views. So. The main reason means there is particular views by a certain group of people. Number five, a minority felt that. It goes with B, which means the opinion of small number of people. Now here is contrasting with the word majority. Majority, minority. Majority is a big group of people, while minority is a small number of people. People. Again, I'm asking you to pay attention to this word because it's very common and it's really used in writing reports. Finally, when I say to sum up, it means D, a summary of the report. Whenever you want to finish uh, the report, you have to give me a very simple summary or summarize the whole thing in two sentences. I hope you got the answers right. Now let's move to the second objective of, uh, objective of today, which is the layout. Okay, now we start with the first paragraph in the report. Of course, it is the introduction. You have to state the aim of this report. What is the purpose of this report? Why am I writing this report? Plus, don't forget to mention how the information was collected and when. Well. The information was collected by a survey, by a research, by a questionnaire on the 1st of March, for example. Now, based on findings, I'm repeating questionnaire, survey, uh, it could be a research. Based on the findings, you will tell me the arguments of people. Start with the argument, arguments against, the people who are against, who are, who are uh, disagree with uh, the topic. In paragraph 4, here where you have to tell me the arguments for or the arguments with people who agree with the topic. And of course, the conclusion is where you summarize the report, where you give me a simple summary or a very short description of the whole thing. So, what is the chosen topic? This is the one. We're going to write a report together about the high usage of social media. And of course, this would be very interesting to you because I'm sure that uh, all of the students, including all the people actually use social media in a very high way. So let's see. Starting with the first part, which is the introduction. Pay attention. The aim of this report is to summarize the findings of a survey. So the finding here is a survey among teenagers on the high usage of social media applications. Follow this, uh, my dear students. Here I'm talking about the purpose. Why am I writing uh, this report and who is the targeted people? Our research group was asked to conduct the survey the data was collected using questionnaires and interviews with 5,000 teenagers between 20th and 30th of April. So here I have mentioned all the details that uh, are required according to the outline. When I said you have to mention the aim, the targeted people, 
What was the research? What was it about exactly? And when did you do it? Let's go to the second paragraph. The majority of teenagers pay attention. I am mentioning the phrase the majority because I'm talking about a big group of people as I have said previously, which is 61% said. Remember when I told you used the phrase said or thought, here we used said. They were against the high usage of social media applications. The main reason mentioned by 40% of the responses was that it distracts, it, it distracts them from studying for their tests. Another important reason mentioned by 21% was that some of the teenagers tend to imitate some bloggers and consider them as role models. So here, what I have did here in this paragraph, I gave two opinions or two reasons why the teenagers are against the high usage of social media. Let's go on with the next paragraph, which should be uh, arguments with or for. A minority of teenagers, 29%, pay attention, a minority means a small number of people. On the other hand, felt that the high usage of social media applications was a good idea because it has a great effect on them as some educational applications have improved their language skills. So this is why they are for, or let's say they are with the high usage of social media. Another reason. However, about 10% were undecided because they were neutral in their viewpoint. So they're not for, they're not against. They're only 10%. Let's go to the part, uh, to the last part, part three, which is the conclusion. To sum up, remember here where you need to give a summary. To sum up, social media is a window to a giant world which has positive and negative aspects. As long as it's used properly, it will not be harmful to anyone. Here I'm expressing my own opinion. What do you think about the usage of social media? I'm saying that as long as it's used properly, it won't be harmful to anyone. So. We are done with the report, but before I finish, I'll give you a very simple task and I need you to do it at home. Write a report about any topic of your choice. Remember when I gave you some examples at the beginning, you can use them or you can write anything of your choice. If you need a proper structure rather than the ones that we have studied, you could refer back to your book, English 102, page 93. Don't forget, use expressions for writing a report. We come to the end of our lesson. Thank you so much for watching and I hope it was interesting for you. See you soon. Goodbye.